Hello everybody, welcome back to the Wix.com help and tutorials. Alright, so in the previous video we were going over some of the page reviews, showing you some of the cool tips in the upper bar here. Well today, I'm going to go over the mobile app and some features that's based on it and show you how to work on the mobile app as well. Alright, so before we get started, I want to remind you to hit subscribe, drop a comment, let me know what you think, and we will answer any questions that you have. Well. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so in the previous video, I showed you how to show everything that was on the page. Alright, and when you go over to the right of that, you're going to see the desktop. So you can edit the desktop site. Well, if you notice the little phone icon, you can switch to mobile. So you can actually edit for the site for mobiles. So when you click on it, it's going to load. And it's going to show you. Alright, so here we go. So basically, it looks just like your typical phone. And you notice on the left hand side you have your little toolbars as well, right? So when you look over here and you go and scroll over, it's your menu pages just like from the desktop. Down, background, your mobile tools, your hidden elements, and your page layout and optimizer. So it's essentially the same thing as the desktop. Uh, if you want to delete space, just like when you go over to the review, uh, delete space, you can, you can do the same for the mobile site as well. So just scroll down. You just scroll on down and there you go. All right, so when you have, you have the quick action bar and then you have back to the top. So you can click and it will take you straight to the top. All right, so this is what it looks like just on your mobile app. And you can, of course, drag and drop anything uh, that you want, right? Just the same, the same layout as the desktop pretty much as far as the actions of what you want to do. If you want to move, a location change the background color that's going to allow you as well and of course you have your toolbar right and if you remember on the last video we have the tools uh, the toolbar so you can select layers all of your tools that you want right so you can just do this as well all right so of course like when you go to menus and pages it's the same nothing really differentiates here the booking pages the member pages the blog pages and the store pages the shop, product page, thank you page, etc. So when we go to the site menu, <clears throat> uh, we can go to services. You click services, takes takes you there, and you can edit it as well. You can move it down, you can move it up, or you can hide the section if you want as well. Uh, so it's really whichever you'd like. All right, so when you hit hide, and that's going to take you here. The same look, little eye with a slash through it is the same. So it's going to show you everything that's hidden. All right, so you can show the element all you want. Let's just go ahead and show all of them. So it's going to show you everything. All right. And so here we go. All right. And so the same when you click on even the strips, you have the same. You have the uh, <clears throat> how the pixels, you can make it smaller or bigger. And the settings, the same doesn't change. The font size, if you want it bigger or smaller. The color, the alignment, if you want it however, well, wherever on the site that you want in the middle. Uh, I would recommend actually in the middle for the phone, if you really kind of pay attention to the websites when you're going to the phone, it's kind of strange for me anyways. So you're going to be able to customize it to really help, well, your customers, your viewers to look at this and make it easier for them just as the same as you'd want it easier for you, right? So essentially the tools are exactly the same for the desktop. Uh, so you can make what's what's different here is you're going to make this bigger or smaller, which you can do the same on the desktop, but it's more important for the mobile website, right? Uh, of course, again, you have your animations. How do you want your animations to show up on your phone? You can hide the element as well if you just don't want to see, right? And if you want to go back to find it, you can show it as well right here. All right. Uh, so you're, you're going to be able to do all of that. All right, so this is your site menu, your booking pages, book online, and that will take you straight here. You can have your service page. This is the book online, and here and the service page is going to show up as well. All right, so I don't have anything right here for now. Uh, the booking checkout, the service title, right, so whatever you want. Uh, let's, so you're going to be able, you can double click and go to settings, and it's going to load up the settings for you here. You can manage it. You're going to have your layout the same as you would for your desktop, right? So this is essentially your menus and pages that's going to show you, well, your pages and your menus. The next one underneath that is your mobile background. The same. You can change the background to whatever you want. Uh, if you want to select from something with uh, 
the same style from the theme packages that they have or again you can upload your own special image or your video or whatever you content that you have that you want to add to it right so the settings is the same the image capacity you have well well everything right your scaling positioning uh let's see and you can you, of course you can even go through the photo editor the photo studio and adjust that remember in, in the first couple of videos that i created for you guys uh, we showed you how to do the photo studio right so again same information the same task it's all right here and remember the search bar here if you're not sure where to find something again just go to the search bar and you can type in mobile 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 editor the review site hidden on mobile so everything's going to show you here mobile app for members everything is going to show you right here in the search bar too if you're not too sure uh, when you come in here the mobile tools real click on mobile tools the quit action bars you can add you can add to the site the phone so you can set up email Facebook chat you can all do that so it's a quick little um, well menu let's call it a menu uh, so the quick access you can go to the phone you can call them you can email them go to their Facebook the chat this, the, honestly the same thing as desktop has when you're adding these buttons with anchors right so it's the same situation um, when you go to settings uh, do you want to show labels you don't have to show labels uh, or you can and you can of course edit those as well all right so when you add them so that's pretty much it for uh, the tools the mobile tools uh, back to top button okay this is this button here and of course if you don't want to show it just unclick it and we'll take it off or you can customize the button as well if you do want to keep it uh, when we're going to the mobile tools the welcome screen hello welcome to the site etc 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 and that has it for you already there the chrome theme colors you can have that as well you can choose a color that's white We'll go with red here just to be able to see uh, and it's linked for the top of the page right and you can save it and it will save it for you as well uh, the background which we already showed you the background the hidden menu and then you have the page layout optimizer so we can go ahead and optimize it and there we go it optimized everything making it much easier for you so it kind of puts everything in order for you exactly which is going to really save you a lot of time and maybe I don't like it undo Oh man, you know what? I decided I do like it. It's the same. So we can go back and we can actually, uh, we can see meet your site on mobile. Uh, I'm going to skip this for now and just to continue to show you a little bit about mobile here. So of course you can do the redo as well. Remember hit save and then you have the preview. So we're going to go to just to preview the site for you. And there you go. So once you do everything on desktop, it's just going to make it smaller, more compact for you and allow you to do this. And then you can kind of, let's say, clean it up, right? You can kind of clean up the site a little bit for you on the mobile app or whichever you like. Uh, so once you do that hard job, I can't say hard, right, because it's easy. But once you do that job of creating the site, it's going to transfer over to mobile. And you can optimize it and move it around and customize it with however you want with your phone. Right, and most people nowadays do use their phone for everything and not a computer so it's really good to pay attention to your mobile app right so you can remove ads here you can upgrade of course there's a lot of extra features that you can pay for uh, that will help to you uh, even more now let's say you decided when you're looking at the mobile app you don't like the background maybe you wanted something a little bit different right of course you can go either on the mobile app and change the background or you can just go back to your desktop and it will still everything you do on the desktop will transfer over to the mobile app All right so it still makes it super easy super fast even with that I know I haven't seen a website before that really worked for uh, with a mobile app it was just a desktop site and said okay good luck right well this one again the, the mobile app really really will save you time and it will make you more proficient right and trying to get to your customers your readers uh, whoever you're creating the website for uh, so this is going to really, really help you out. All right, guys. So this is the mobile app. Uh, be sure to catch us up next time because we're going to go over the settings. Uh, I wanted to go over the mobile app for you now. And we, I wanted to go over these bars for you. So next, we're going to go over the settings. So to connect to uh, the domain, to get a mailbox, upgrades, 
uh, we can get found on Google. We're going to go over all of these in the next several videos for you guys. So don't forget to subscribe to not miss these videos and see how if you can make your website professional for you. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Can't wait to see you guys again.